Hey, many, ah, shit, it's the 31st of December, New Year's Eve, 2022, 2023 will be the year, in my humble opinion, that the tribulation period will begin, the first 42 months will commence in early 2023, maybe even as early as the first week of the year, because based on a lot of this stuff that just been given to me today a lot's adding up for this new year's and the first week of new year's but as usual we'll see what happens only god knows so we had yesterday on the 29th israel sweared in their 37th government and netanyahu is prime minister again uh, by the way netanyahu will be the one in israel to basically hand over the keys, if you will, uh, lead through the Golden Gate, the Antichrist, in 2026. Again, in my humble opinion, three and a half years. So, the number 37, and it's just a very interesting thing, you guys. You're going to have to do your own research on this. So, let's just try and sort this out together because I'm not doing too well these days. I'm recovering right now from literal galvanized poisoning. You know, I've been a metal worker for 40 years, and I know better than to not ventilate or use a good respirator when I'm working with galvanized steel. And so I didn't, right? And I have felt pretty much like dying for the last three days, but it enabled me to, to spend some time and reflect on things. It really did. In fact, I was praying a couple days ago just for guidance to, to be fruitful. And I was literally led to 2 Peter 1.5. That was the verse that was given to me. And the word that popped out at me was ad, which just so happens to be the Greek concordance word 2023. Five times in the New Testament, grace. And it's to furnish fully supply, okay? To aid and contribute, minister and nourish. But back to Netanyahu. Yeah, he happens to be 73 years old, taking on the 37th government to the hexagonal star, the star of David, which is really the star of Remphan. It's an image to their God. You can find that both Amos 5.26 and Acts 7.43. You need to read these things. I'm serious and understand what we're dealing with. Now get this. Netanyahu had a, a mugshot taken of him back in 1967. The Six Day War period, right? Look at the number they assigned him on his photo. 2030233. Now just hold on there because it continues. Between the Netanyahu thing and the Pele thing is what really got this rolling because Pele, I'm sure many of you know, means uh, in Hawaiian, it's the their god of the volcanoes. Thank you, king, they said. And they lit up the Christ the Redeemer statue in honor of Pele, the Hawaiian god of volcanoes. I'm just saying. But Obama made a statement and he's remembered when he met with Pele back in 2019, after he was president. He went down there for some sort of visit, and he wound up meeting Pele. To me, numbers mean stuff. So on New Year's Day, that's going to be 1313. The number of rebellion, we could go into a study on that alone. The extinction rebellion, so on and so forth. It just get a load of how this stuff clicks together, though. As of tomorrow, into the first, 3,203 days ago, Obama was concerned about a nuke going off in Manhattan. Russia's actions are a problem. They don't pose the number one national security threat to the United States. Uh, I continue to be much more concerned when it comes to our security with the prospect of uh, a nuclear weapon going off in Manhattan. And that just happened to be 
3203 days ago. Remember the number that Netanyahu had on his mugshot? I mean, you just got to see the patterns going here, okay? Now, of course, you just simply can't make this up. This comes out today. The Times of Israel puts this out. Talking about whacking bin Laden before 9-11. Now, remember the scene in IPET Go, which Obama is in, where bin Laden is portrayed as a CIA agent with a bunch of missiles. Why do you think they would put this article out today? So, we got New Year's coming up. New Year's Eve. Well, Eve, you know, the life giver in the Bible. Well, the Hebrew concordance number for Eve is 2332. This is a mirror image of the 23 chromosomes. 23 and 23, except you have it frontwards and backwards the inversion if you will the new year's always brings in baby new year life giver the child is born like revelation 12 and out goes father time or chronos if you prefer saturn to be more specific as we just come out of the saturnalia season and it's Saturn's cube, as in times square, that the big ball drop happens. All these things, man, I'm just adding them up, and they are really blowing me away. i got to be totally honest with you. But I really don't know how to piece it together, and my brain is not working that great today. So I'm just giving you the rough cut of it, okay? So, again, we bring in father time and the new baby new year you know eve the life giver the mother of all father time chronos the cube of saturn times square if i'm repeating myself forgive me but it brought me back the time to warp speed because trump announced that on the 15th of may 2020 when he said he needs a Manhattan Project-sized operation to tackle the COVID. It's called Operation Warp Speed. That means big and it means fast. A massive scientific, industrial, and logistical endeavor unlike anything our country has seen since the Manhattan Project. Nobody's seen anything like we're doing now within our country since the Second World War. So, naturally, I did a count on that. 960 days that 9669 just sneak themselves in everywhere but that's also equivalent to 23,000 hours so Trump 88 made that announcement 960 days as of New Year's warp speed time warp again I'm not doing well putting stuff together just do the best you can with what I'm giving you because I know a lot of this is relevant. Yep, even the rooster thinks so. If he crows three times, I'm going to go out and deny him breath. Oh, we can't forget Beirut, Lebanon on 8 4 2020. That will be 880 days. As of New Year's, when Beirut Harbor blew up exactly 6,901 days from 9-11. Which they read Psalm 23 on 9-11 and Psalm 46 in 2011 and 6,900th day, they blew up Beirut. It's just incredibly interesting, nonetheless. So, I mean, that pretty much sums it up, you guys. Except from the 9-11, if we go New Year's back to 9-11, it's 7,783 days ago. Well, that means overflow. Because there is no Greek word that large. 7783, overflow, as in water, as in a flood. Three times three verses. You can find it one time in Joel 
3.13. It talks about reaping the harvest. Thrust in thy sickle. And don't forget, Father Time, Kronos, Saturn, has a sickle. And he's ready to do the harvesting, right? Their wickedness is great. Joel 3.13. And then if we count seven days, that is the Eastern Orthodox Christmas. Just amazing stuff to me, you guys. Tribulation actually, factually, will begin. I don't know when. I really don't. But it'll become clear in the early part of 2023. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Anyway, that's really what I got for you guys. It's a lot of I know, but man, it's really put upon me to share it with you. So, here we go. The next week or so, to me, are just loaded so be on watch as always keep looking up and uh, there's a lot more i really wanted to talk about i wanted to get into some of the scriptural aspects of this ordeal in israel very very interesting something's afoot and i pray that we all stand fast and firm in our faith and tribulation i believe will begin in earnest in 2023 it will become very apparent. And incidentally, the word tribulation literally comes from the Greek concordance number 2346. So I thought that was also pretty interesting. God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 